Hey, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, here I'm going to talk about the championship here and how how I plan to uh, do every single one of these stages. It's my my own uh, battle plan, but I do hope that you guys can uh, get something out of it. Like if you if you do want to uh, do it like me, uh, feel free to do so. Or you if you guys have any other uh, better ideas, uh, let me know in the comments. So here in this championship, uh, we have a chance to uh, compete to get a Sobek Ripple. Delon, which is uh, quite an okay Esper. It's not OP. Like there was a, a, a time where people are complaining because Sobek got a uh, nerf <laughs> even before he came out. The reason is because his third skill. His third skill uh, at the start when they first leak a uh, Delon skill, his third skill uh, dispels all enemies' buffs and debuffs, and also gives AP reduction. To his enemies. If that was the thing that came out with Daylon, uh, like uh, until now, if the skill is still like that, then Daylon is going to be like a must have Esper because the ability to dispel every single buffs from the enemy while reducing the enemy AP makes Daylon a better uh, candidate to replace uh, Dahlia as the first Esper to move in every fight. But because uh, I think uh, Lilith developer noticed that, so they changed uh, Daylon's skill at the last minute to become uh, to re replace the AP down to into disease. So because he uh, they changed it like that, so Daylon becomes uh, not, not an OP character but becomes an okay Esper. So yeah. So I'm I'm excited to do this, but I do have my own uh, strategy in doing that. As you can see here, like a lot of people are competing in the first stage already, and a lot of them are already uh, doing so well. <laughs> like if you see in the world ranking, like uh, someone is already at hundred thousand mark here. It's it's already crazy enough. So we are going to uh, see like what my strategy here. So on the first stage, I'm doing it. To, uh, I still keep going on the team stage here, the boss raid. The reason is because it's useless for you to uh, do the relic here in the ritual miracle because currently having the event here, the event stage, nets you a better gold uh, income and any other um, items compared to any other stages in the game. So. Every time you see this team show and you see this kind of stages, always, always farm the boss raid every single day until the last second uh, of the event because it will give you the most value for your energy. I have the calculation in the other post. I will link you the post uh, in the comment down below. So uh, you guys can see what you can get from these stages. So I, I still going on to the uh, the team show here, the stages here. So here, I can still get relic. The chance have uh, it has a chance of dropping a five star to six star relics. So it's not the best in terms of uh, gaining points for the events here because the first stages of the championship is the relic championship. You can get points uh, depending on how much uh, stars you get from your relic from your relic farming. And you get more points uh, if you can get the six star relics, uh, which happen to have a flawless grading in it. And if you do want to farm relic in the in the ritual miracle and not doing it in the in the event stage, then uh, do try to go for the uh, stage sixteen compared to the stage fifteen. I have seen the calculation on which one is better, stage 15 and stage 16, and stage 16 is still better than stage 15. I have my own calculation, so if you do want to know uh, how I calculate that, uh, comment in the comment below, yeah, if you do want me to make that video. But uh, <laughs> all those calculations are wrong, the stage 16 gives you more chance for a six star flawless than the uh, stage 15. So yeah, if you do want to farm in the ritual miracle, do go for the stage 16. But if you 
uh, cannot clear the stage 16 um, consistently, then still go for the stage 15 because clearing the stage consistently uh, will give you better profit compared to like pushing it and forcing yourself to clear a stage 16 while having some losses here and there. So uh, that's for the first stage. I, I don't want to push myself into like competing with the other people. So here you see that I'm already lost in the, in the first stage here, but it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, if you see in the uh, championship overview here, the championship overview says that after all three sub-events end, if players don't have enough ripples to get one new Esper from Echo, they can purchase the Esper ripples from di with diamonds. So, for all of you guys who like trying to compete and try trying to get yourself uh, your hands on Daylon, uh, don't be disheartened if you cannot compete with your own brackets. Uh, the reason is because at the end of the event, you can purchase the ripples of uh, Sobek or Daylon um, in, the, in the shop that they will open at the end of the event. So the number of ripples purchased will be equal to the number of Sobek or Daylon ripples still required for the player to own 40. So uh, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't compete at all in the championship because you can get Daylon ripples by uh, clearing all these quests down below here. So you get Daylon Ripple 10 here, and then on the second uh, stage you get 20 Daylon Ripple heal here, and then on the third stage you get another 20 Daylon Ripple here. So you need to clear every single one of these, like the the event down below here, uh, instead of like if you if you compete in the group and ranking. So as long as you clear the event uh, down below here you can guarantee to get yourself a Daylon because you only need 40 Sobek Ripples here to get your Daylon so if you clear every single one down here it will give you a total of 50 Ripples which is enough to get you uh, the Esper as long as you already open your Esper you can always get the extra Ripple in your club using the wish list. So. It's always a good idea to just save your resources for uh, something else later instead of competing against all these crazy people here. But if you still like, if you are already able, like my bracket is not as crazy as this, and I'm I'm able to get the uh, rank one until six uh, and compete normally, like like within a reasonable pace, then uh, go and do so. But if you are like me, like you're in a bracket that is already crazy enough, so I rather just save my stamina packs for the first round here, and then just uh, try my best on the other stages. So for the st second stage here, I already prepare myself for on how I'm going to do this. The reason is because this is the Relic Plus Championship, and you get points by. Uh, enhancing your relic star ratings and levels so you get one point every time you enhance rate, uh, relic to plus three you get some points if you enhance your relic until plus six and you get some points if you enhance your relic, relic until plus nine and blah 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 until plus 15 but the best strategy here is to uh, wait so what i'm doing what i'm doing here is just every single relic that i get from doing the stage here in the in the event stage, I will just save it in my in my relic place here. So I do have a lot of relic, like 2,800 relics, and I keep every single one of them without selling them. The reason is because the one you want to uh, enhance is not the six stars actually. The one you want to enhance is the five star. So if you can see here, like. Uh, I've been I've been holding myself into like enhancing my relics for uh, certain experts like there are some good relics here that I can enhance here and there so I will enhance uh, all the relics that I want uh, on that day when the event stage opens and also every single one of these five star relics I will enhance them to plus three the reason is because here's let me see let's see the the point calculation here again. So in the event here, the Relic Plus Championship, you can get one point if you enhance all these relics 
uh, two stars until five stars by one point if you enhance it to plus three and you get uh, 25 plus 10 plus 5 plus 3 plus 2 which is uh, 10 20 45 points if you enhance six star relics to plus 15 so we do know like more or less you will need 2 million gold if you want to enhance uh, six star relics to 40 uh, to plus 15 so 2 million golds divided by uh, 45 points is that you get one point by spending 44,000 gold 44 uh, point 44,444 gold to get one point by enhancing the six star instead of doing that you can just enhance the five star to uh, plus three and you get yourself one point by just spending 7,000 gold 7,500 something gold because here, here you can see that enhancing this relic, There's a mission? Hmm. Let's... the five star, where is it? A uh, five star. So enhancing this to a three star only costs you one thousand two hundred twenty, and then two thousand four hundred forty, which is three thousand six hundred sixty, and then three thousand six hundred sixty, which. I ends you with 7,380 uh, so by using only 7,380 7, gold you will get yourself one point already instead of enhancing the relic up until six stars uh, up until plus 15 for the six star relics so enhance every single relic you have uh, below six stars to plus three on that day, on the second, uh, on the second stage of the events, that will gives you uh, more points compared to enhancing uh, six star relics. And, but don't forget to enhance the six star relics too, because enhancing six star relics also gives you two points, uh, only to plus three. So just enhance every single relic you have to plus three on on when this stage open. open instead of just trying to enhance everything to plus 15 because it will give you less point compared to enhancing every single relic you have to plus three that's that's the strategy that you can use for the second stage of the event and same thing if you cannot win if you cannot win in this uh, bracket stage on the, on the second stage then don't force yourself into like you know keep upgrading your relics just to try to compete with the other players uh, as long as you reach this part here, the point rewards here, then you already got yourself your day launch. So do not try to compete with all the other people. Just keep playing with your own pace. Now, that's my strategy for the second stage. And for the third stage is the points championship. The points championship uh, gives you points if you challenge equal or higher tier opponents. So if you can challenge a higher tier opponents, then uh, you get yourself more points instead of challenging lower tier opponents. So I've been preparing uh, for the stage three ever since the championship opened. And how do I prepare for that? Is by putting myself uh, my own defense in a point war. With this, so my strategy here is to reduce my ranking before the third stage open. Before the third stage open, uh, I will try as much as I can to hold my points back so every day I will just uh, kill all these people that is lower ranking than mine so not to increase my uh, my ranking again so I keep just killing all these people and then reducing my points up until like as much as I can before the states uh, open and then once the states open I will have a lower ranking than when I usually uh, do so I can just keep killing all the all the players that are above me which I can already uh, do so if I'm or on the lower ranking later on and then get myself more points uh, per per uh, point war energy that I spend so that's my strategy for the third stage and if still if I cannot compete using that strategy 
against every other people in the group ranking here. As usual, as long as I can get, get the point rewards here, here, then I will still get my day long. So it doesn't matter. So that's how you guys can uh, compete in this championship as a free-to-play players. Don't force yourself into spending uh, more into competing in this one because uh, Lilith and the other developer for uh, this light here are very good people like they are very kind to a free-to-play players so they always give a lot of benefits to free-to-play players to be able to get every single content in this game so uh, that's for me I uh, hope you guys enjoy the championship and hope you guys can compete in the championship let me know if you are like in the good bracket or in the bad bracket and as always, as usual, as long as this team show uh, event stage is still on, we still have eight more days here, uh, keep doing this one here. And um, you, can you can also use any other team here, like every, every kind of Esper, like currently I'm using this Esper to, to try and grind this stage. So as long as you can keep on doing this until the last second of the event, then you get the most benefit out of everyone that is trying to compete in this championship stage here so hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you the next time bye bye